Welcome back to my Let's Play for Pokemon Blue and my Monoelectric Run. It's time to take on, well, our greatest challenge yet. Uh, well, guess we'll have to switch over into Little Bo Peep being up front. And, you know what, we'll take that item, you know. We'll, we'll take your leftovers and we'll give them to Little Bo Peep. After all, Little Bo Peep's gonna be need a lot more for this fight in the grand scheme of things, so... We'll have Little Bo Peep hold that, yep. Most definitely. And we'll have Lieutenant Surge, you know, pick up the, um, Quick Claw. Yep, I'm sure. But you know, I really don't have an item for you, so I think that ought to do it. I guess we'll see how it plays out, though. This may or may not work out too well for us. Um, my biggest concern, though, is probably going to be being Arcanine. Oddly enough. I mean, it's not even something I have a serious weakness to normally, but... Gino lacks levels to really compete with it, and Arcanine does have extreme speed. Now, I can probably hopefully get Paralysis off with um, Lieutenant Surge, you know, and just eat the Flamethrower, I'm hoping. And then lock it down with um, Confuse Ray and try and, you know, win that way with um, Surf. But he does have a full Restore, so I might want to try and get him to dump it on something else. Problem is, the only thing I can see him really dumping on might be his Executor, which... We may or may not do serious damage to it, we'll see. Ugh, I'm very um, iffy on if this is going to be a good recording or not, but I guess we'll try and get through the battle and then check it. And if it's bad, you know, I just leave the commentary on, because that'll probably be fine, just replace my photo with an image of one of my pets or something. But yeah, we're going to need to switch here. After all, I'm not going to try and, you know, fire punch my way through Rhydon, that would be stupid. You know, if I succeeded, I'd have to use items and stuff, and I'd like to save those for later. Oh my god. An actual clever switch. And now I got, I've been considering, you know, if I want to send someone else out, you know, to eat Psychic. Ugh. Well, damn. I don't know if Ulti's gonna survive this. It may end up being a sacrifice. Pointlessly. Well, now. I can't use Explosion against it. Fine, I'll Light Screen it. That's still probably gonna be enough to take this Psychic, though. At least with enough to bounce back in a second one. Oh, I guess I can. Mirror Code. Because that will do a double damage. I mean, it does suck, though, that he managed to catch me off guard with a wall time switch. But usually Blue doesn't do that, so... I'm honestly surprised. He saw the threat and decided to pounce on it. Okay. So what's he gonna go with next? That's the real question. Yeah, I'll switch. First of all, my luck, he might then now switch into Executor and continue the dick with me. Like, oh yeah, I, I got a grass type that can eat up those um surfs too, you know. <sighs> uh, another switch into Executor, called it. Um, damn. I mean, I called what he was gonna do, but I'm still making the wrong move here. Um, I know he's gonna probably go with setting up Solar Beam, though, because that's usually what Executor does, so... We will switch over to Little Bo Peep. This Little Bo Peep can probably eat the Solar Beam and fire back with Fire Punches, so... I might take a bit more damage than I like, but I can recover. After all, my, um, light screen should still be up when this attack hits, I believe, so... It's not gonna be as bad as it could be. And I can always hope for a crit that lets me win, right? Eh, let's see, what, how bad's it gonna be? Uh, 50? Not that bad. Though light screen's gonna fall after this, but... Eh, whatever. And it's dumping the full restore onto him, the Executor. Nice. Okay. You do you, Blue. You do you. The, the switches, though, were clever. Usually he doesn't do that. He just lets them get knocked out. I'm a bit surprised he's even going with switches. It happens that infrequently. 
But it was a stroke of brilliance, because even though I could probably guess he was going to switch, I just played into his hands. I mean, once you see it the first time, you know, it's probably going to continue. But, you know, at least we got Gino at level that way. Um, right on again, huh? Well, we'll bring out Juno again. And then also go with the Surf again. I mean, at this point, he can only switch into Gyarados, which, you know, we'll probably do all right, you know, if it takes it. But his other choice is going to Arcanine, which, if it gets hit with Surf, it's kind of really regret it. Even if they can respond back with a powerful flamethrower. And I can always try and wall that out by using, you know, light screen. But I am tempted to heal it, then go for explosion on it. Um, actually, I might just blow up first turn. And try and just take Arc 9 out, but it might extreme speed me here. So this might be a bad call without doing a recovery. Yeah, it's going for the extreme speed knockout. I, I saw it coming, and I still decided not to actually do anything about it. I should have, you know, recovered. Well, we'll go with Confuse Ray. I already know it's just going to keep up extreme speeding, because it is annoying, but it does work. Since he doesn't have any more full restores, as far as I'm aware, we can, you know... Confuse it, try and slow down, slow it down with some paralysis. But so it's gonna probably keep launching extreme speed attacks over and over and over again. There's not much we can do about it. Paralysis isn't gonna do as much as I'd like here, because you know it's still gonna drop as extreme speed. Though I could counter that by using items, I guess. Ugh. I mean, if it would use flamethrower a bit more, this would be easier. But I know why it's not. Okay. Hyper Potion. I, I should have done that the Volti, then probably blown up. But, live and learn, I guess, right? Well, I didn't even really learn. I just made a stupid move when I called it. Oh, he did have another full restore. Well. Confuse Ray. I mean, I know it's going to keep sending out those extreme speeds. It's the one thing it can really count on, you know, to annoy me. But I'll still throw out the, um, paralysis as well. I can hope, you know, that sometimes kicks in to protect me. It's not going to be super reliable, but at least it's something, you know? And then, you know, Surf, obviously. Come on, hit yourself again. Gosh, darn is this Arcanine annoying. It gets a critical hit off, of course. Ugh, gosh darn it. Little Bo Peep, just get out there and do what you can. Ugh. I don't always, I don't really get why Arcanine's always like the most annoying thing on this guy's team. I mean, usually Arcanine's just not that scary, but... Blue's Arcanine? That extreme speed just makes it super annoying. Ugh. <sighs> well, apparently you want to use Flamethrower on Lil Bo Peep. Not sure why, but I'll take it. <sighs> but damn, that Arcanine got my nerves. Oh, you want to bring out Gyarados? Screw your Gyarados, I'm thunder punching it to death. Like, this is gonna be over as soon as I land a hit here. Oh, it missed with the hyper beam? Well, damn, it's just dead then. Because let's face it, you know, that four times weakness to electrical attacks is gonna screw it here. And Kyarados is down. Yep. <sighs> that was harder than I thought it'd be. No, I suppose I did use less items than he did. And I'll take that Earth Badge gladly. Oh, I really wish I'd healed, um, Electro, then brought out for a self-destruct on, um, Arc-9, though. May have actually survived it. And then he could have full restored again, you know, making the sacrifice pointless, so... Eh. 
Guess we should go talk to Professor Oak, you know, to get access to Mount Silver. We're definitely gonna fly down there though to save time. <laughs> I really don't want to skip over the trainers again. Well, time to go bug him at his place of work. And probably get told what a terrible trainer we are, because we still haven't caught that many Pokemon. Yeah, I already beat all the gym leaders around here. Yes, right with my assessment of you. Yes, Mount Silver. One of many wild and powerful Pokemon. It's just too dangerous for your average trainer, so it's off limits, but we can make an exception in your case, because you're exceptional, Volt. Yeah, terrible. Yeah, I know I already used Pokeballs. Thanks, Professor Oak, I need the embarrassment again. Well, that does it for this episode. Next time we go after Red, but that's gonna have to wait a while, because, let's face it, I'm gonna need more levels before I try and take on that monster. Till next time, then. See ya.